put out again. Yep, hose water. Absolutely red hot today. 25 when I left the car. So I'm hoping it's going to get a bit breezy and a bit cooler up on the top. Right, I'll bring you back later. Gonna head up Gates Garth on the top and then up onto Heart of Fell and I'm gonna have a wander about up on the top. Whether I'll be sleeping on the top is another question because it's quite windy. See how windy it is on the top, but it's temperatures are great. Halfway up Gates Calf Pass, got up onto the uh, sort of false summit, but there's an absolute beautiful breeze just blowing down the valley, just taking that uh, heat off. Lovely. Onwards and upwards. Right, I got up to Gates Calf, heading up towards Harter, then I realised the mic's missing out my GoPro. Nightmare. So I've come back down to where I last filmed. Set off, and I'm not going back down there now. So I've looked on the way down, can't find it. I've stashed my bag, probably can't find it on the way up now. But I'll uh, I'll head back up see if I can fin it. Not what you need. Right, I'm back up my bag and no joy. So it's a damn experience. Microphone for a GoPro. Anybody finds it on Gatecar Gatecar Pass? It's what? Somewhere. Could be anywhere. I've went halfway down, that's as far as I've gone. Get some more water and I'm going to head up. That's Gates Calf Pass negotiated. Now we're heading up towards Hartafell and Nan Beale Pass. We head this way into the sun. But, uh, there's a still a nice breeze, so thankful for that. On Little Heart of Fell now, it's a bit blowy, so I'm just gonna head on further up, up onto Heart of Fell now. But uh, yeah, it's too windy to probably pitch here, yeah? even though this is a nice spot with great views. But I will, uh, I will carry on. Top of Gate Scarf, right down to where I started at the car park down at Arswater. Lovely night. There, on top of Hartley Fell, 778 metres. The sun's gone behind the only cloud in the sky. Bit of a respite, but the views are absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like these are skylarks. Bit windy though. Last time I was here, Kent me it was empty. It was drained, but somehow it's been dammed back up and it's full. Right, so we're heading down the Nambiel Pass. Onto Mardell. And the sun's back out again. So there's small water where I camped last time. There's, uh, someone's pitched up down by the water's edge. A little green tent. The camera will pick it out. I was in that beside that little pond uh, behind small water last time. Where I'm going to stop tonight. I'm still ratcheting about two and a half seven, so still got a few hours of daylight left. Yet, so crack on. That's a fresh breeze, but it keeps the midges away, yeah. So there's the shelter on top of Nambale Pass, and I'm going to head up to Madden Bell.
managed to get tucked in out of the wind here. There's a little spot here, which is right next to the path. I don't suck in next to the path, so I'll, I'll carry on. Yep, the welcoming, welcoming shelter in inclement weather. As long as the wind's blowing the right way, it'll be all right. Hey, we've got Mardale Bell now. The sun's gone behind the cloud again. It's uh, 8 o'clock. Push on a bit more. What we're going to do is find another pitch now. It's starting to get hungry and the legs are starting to tire. Left the car at 5 o'clock and uh, lost 40 minutes messing up looking for that mic, so I'm uh, hoping I'll find somewhere to bring it back. I think I've found somewhere to pitch and it's not down there. There is a tent down there, blue water, right at the, uh, where the little dam bit is. Just pick it out there. Anyhow, we found somewhere behind us, hopefully. Right, just over there somewhere. So I'm going to get the tent up and get somewhere to eat because I'm bloody hungry. So I've got it pitched. It's not a bad little spot. Nice and flat. Apologies for the wind. But uh, yeah, the sun will be dropping soon just behind there. Thankfully the wind's dropped a bit, which is good. Right, tonight we have some uh, Warburton Thins and some that uh, Skanky Spam but uh, I like it Okay, I've been fed and watered. Um, just been taking a few time lapses of the, the sunset. Uh, all set up. I'm back in the uh, soloist again tonight. Give it another run out. Bit of a better pitch this time because uh, the one last time was all right. And it done its job. But this time in the morning, I should have sunrise right on my tent so that should be uh, should be good if it happens but uh, it's forecast to be okay tomorrow morning so but the winds it's sort of dipped away now which is good as long as it doesn't get up overnight but uh, yep just having a little rum and coke some chocolates it's about half nine now, so time's fairly ticking on already. As usual, I have a messy camp. No surprise there. Not much better than here either. See, so yeah, I brought the uh, the Alp kit cloud base tonight. 
just got my summer bag brought my liner just in case I've got my thermals because the temperatures do sort of dip when you're uh, when, the, when the old uh, sun disappears it becomes quite cool to get me uh, me packing this time and I've rearranged my stuff put some stuff down the right side the bag on the left side and I've got uh, me pots and, uh, pots and pans in the front porch and some of the bottled water and stuff like that so yeah it seems to work I'm warming to it Okay, well I'm going to call it a night now, I've just been taking some time lapse night shots, see how they come out, uh, but I'll catch you all in the morning. time yep yeah, the sun's hiding behind cloud hopefully that'll burn off and it'll get out nice It's not a very strong wind, but it is bowing a bit, a little bit. Not too much. Right, we're nearly all uh, packed away just for the tent to put down. But, uh, as you can see, the wind's giving it a good test. mile an hour if that it's more of a breeze really isn't it yeah the sun's gone behind a bank of cloud Packed away, that's where I was. The sun's just trying to get out now, so I'm gonna make the tracks up that path there and across that bridge. Back down towards the car park, hopefully. Here we've got Windermere in the distance. It's a very hazy morning. A bit breezy up here. It's 
I was just pitched just on that far side over there just down from that little town you can see at the top right that's us down off the scrambly bit now we'll just follow this little grassy path Garth and I went on to Harter, followed it right round and I went behind this one, up on the top, up to Mardale Bell, I camped up on the top there. Hey, missed another tent there, walk right past it, never seen it, can't miss it, it's bright orange. Oh, no, he's trying to catch it, he's blowing away. Nightmare, never leave your flipping pegs up. Oh dear, come on lad, get out of it. It's getting away from you. That wind's just whipping right down the valley. Christ, he must have, he's, he's come a good way. Let's hope it stops before it goes over the valley. Oh my God, the wind's got it again. No, has he got it? I think he's got it. Just stop for some chocolate, a bit of energy. The sun's getting a bit warm now. As soon as you stop, them flies are on your mind. But uh, it's all right down here. There's not so much wind, but look by the water, absolutely howling through right off the top of the water and down down the valley. Yeah, that poor guy was nearly having to come all the way down here to collect his tent. I think I'll have to get my sunglasses on, it's getting too bright now, it's hurting my eyes. So I was up here last time, I was, well not the last time, but when I'd done a camp up here, small water. That was a lovely day as well. Alright, more chocolate, something to drink, back down with the car. My poor thighs are absolutely burning with all this downhill, but uh, we're not far now. I can see the car from here, maybe half a mile or so. so. But uh, yeah, it's, it's going to get out a lovely day. I'm nearly back at the car, so this is the last bit of filming. So thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the next one. Cheers now.